Welcome to another episode of The Full Flute. I've got my friend Margaret here again today. And today we're still tasting champagne, but we're talking about glasses. Because I think it's really important to know that the different glasses that you have really can change the way you taste the champagne. And having the perfect glass really enhances your champagne tasting experience. So Margaret, I have picked up the first one that we have here. This is the classic flute, uh, uh, sorry, coupe, champagne coupe. These are the ones that were, um, legend has it shaped after Marie Antoinette's left breast. And, not the right, uh, not just, the right, right. just the left. I don't know why that's come up. They've got a very, very wide bowl. These ones are a little bit better for tasting because they've got a hollow stem. So there are bubbles rising up. But normally, because they're so shallow, they're very elegant to hold. I feel like I'm a 1950s movie. Oh, oh. Sorry when I have these. I think it's at least 20 years since I've seen that. Oh, really? And these are, these are beautiful art decor ones that I found at an antique shop once. I really, really love them. And I feel very elegant holding them. But unfortunately, they're not the best thing to taste champagne in. The bubbles don't have very far to rise up compared to a food. And because it's so wide, you don't get any concentration of the flavour back to your nose. So let's have a little sip of that. I'm not going to tell you what the champagne is yet. Or even if it's the same one. I kind of find it leaves me wanting more. Yeah, because when you have that first sip, the bubbles are all in the centre. Mm. And you don't, you're not getting the bubbles on the mm. tongue when you have that first sip. Mm. I mean, it's one of those things that looks beautiful and you feel great, but it leaves you wanting. Mm. Okay. The next one, I think a lot of people have, these are sort of um, left over from the 70s, sort of, I think. Maybe a little bit later, but um, they're pretty funky for a party. They're quite nice. There was a whole series of them that came out once, different colours. They had etchings and engravings. Some people have them in Bohemian Crystal with that coloured glass and everything. But again, the bubbles go straight up, but it opens out before you nose, before it hits your nose. So let's have a sip and tell me what you think when you're tasting that. More bubbles. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's still not, um, it's not, the flavour's not as intense. Mm. It's, it's tight. Yeah. It's, it it yeah. feels tight. It feels like it wants to escape. It's a bit of a shame, but um, it still feels nice. It's nice for a party, and I can understand why people have these. In fact, I had them. I think I got them for my 21st birthday. But um, and I still have them. They haven't broken. But um, yeah. Now the next one, I think we're all a bit more familiar with. Classic fluge. Now for it, we'll clink, we'll clink our flutes. These for the longest time are considered what we should be drinking champagne out of because the bubbles have room to rise and um, there's room to really get your nose in there and smell it. But you know, some people think that their nose is too big. Mm -hmm. It's much better. There's room mm -hmm. for the flavours to develop. Yeah, mm -hmm. more bubbles. Mm -hmm. And there's room for the flavours to develop. It's a little bit more of a satisfying experience. Yeah, let's go and taste this one. Yeah. Mm, that's almost taste flat mm. in comparison. Mm. Let me go back to this one. Yeah, that one's still mm. better than that, but not Yeah, as good it's as sort as of progressively well. going along. Do you think they taste like three different champagnes? Yep, I do. Three different qualities. Mm -hmm. And actually it's all exactly the same champagne that it's I'm giving you to taste today. So there's no trickery involved. We're, we're using this lovely bits and brochet. Um, mm -hmm. We have had another tasting that we did together. So um, it's all the same champagne. So whilst these flutes were considered for a long time to be a good, a good tasting vessel, they've actually discovered in the last few years that there is something a little bit better, not just an up and down flute, that's the tulip flute. And this is a particular style of tulip flute, this one. It's wider at the bottom, a bit more like a white wine glass, mm -hmm. and then it comes back in mm -hmm. at the top. So what happens, because it comes out wider, it allows the flavours to spread out and develop, and you've got this whole kind of bowl within the glass, so the aromas can mix into there. So when you put your nose in, it's all released and opened up in there. So have a taste of that one and tell me what you think. 
already on the nose you get all these flavours and you get so many flavours. So these particular flutes were developed by sommelier in, in um, Champagne. He actually won Best Sommelier of the Year once. His name is Philip Jeunesse and he works at Le Creer, which is a big three Michelin star mm -hmm. restaurant in France. And he developed these glasses with um, a French glass making company as what he considered to be the perfect shape to best appreciate Champagne. And I first had them when I was visiting Champagne. Not a lot of the houses were using them. And I remember this light bulb moment when this grower who said he was talking about all the different flavours that come out. And I think it was the first time in my life that I could really taste everything he was saying rather than going, oh yes, maybe I get that. I really, really appreciated it. It tastes like different champagne. Completely different champagne. Richness and the roundness mm -hmm. and the, the champagne. The in the yeah, yeah. So it really is a good idea to invest in some good tulip shaped flutes to taste the champagne. There's nothing wrong with these ones for a party. In fact, sometimes they're good, especially the flute, because you can get some other ones and you get a lot more glasses out of the bottle if you're trying to serve a number of people. But if you've got a really nice champagne that you want to appreciate with your friends, it's really worth having something like the champagne. Enjoy this to Philippe Chalmers. Cheers.